Windows 7 was a smash hit for Microsoft, putting the nightmare of Vista firmly behind the company and showing the traditional desktop experience still has a huge audience. So what, you may ask, can Windows 8 bring to the table? In a word, touch. With tablets, phones, and touchscreens, we're all used to getting a little more touchy-feely with our devices. And even though Windows 7 was officially touch-enabled, it certainly wasn't going to compete with made-to-measure operating systems like Apple's iOS and Google's Android. Windows 8 changes all of that by bringing in the Metro interface that will be familiar to anyone who's seen the Windows Phone operating system. That means nice, big, finger-friendly tiles, more of your data to hand without having to dig too far into the files to get it, and the ability to flick through screens to find what you're looking for. For all of those people who quite like using a mouse and keyboard and have grown used to having windows and desktops to comb through, Microsoft has made sure that the Metro system is integrated alongside a more traditional view. The Windows 8 beta shows how this will work. The system boots to the Metro tiles, but you can quickly get to the desktop. A touch on the familiar start button brings you back to Metro. Another key difference in Windows 8 are called charms. These are essentially menus that can be swiped in from the side and bring a whole range of features to whatever you're doing. The charms consist of search, allowing you to easily find things either in the app, on your PC, in the cloud or on the internet, share, which brings deep social network integration and collaboration tools to the desktop, then there's settings and devices, and all of these aim to make all of your PC functionality simpler and easier to get to. The early signs are good for Windows 8, although jumping from Metro to the desktop still feels a little jarring. The operating system is now in the hands of developers, and we reckon you'll start to see the final version of tablets and PCs in autumn 2012.